Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum, and uh, Real Illusion Forum. And um, so, somebody, I, the other day, the last tutorial I did was showing how to use the makeup or tattoos or scars from uh, Daz into uh, Character Creator. And we were doing it through the use of the overlay, okay? The bl I'm sorry, the blend channel. The blend channel. We don't have an overlay. Uh, the blend channel. And somebody pointed out, they said, well, what if what you're trying to overlay has white in it? Because white is used as the transparency color. And that's a problem. But it's it's more than just that, as I want to show you something. I want to show you right now, if you can see this, this is an overlay of this. Um, you can see this 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 kind of texture here. I'm pointing with my finger. That, does, that doesn't show up on the camera. Um, and you can see there, there's some the blue in the eyes. If you can look at that blue eye part, well, if we if we go up here and we close this guy's eyes, you'll see it doesn't doesn't really come over. That's because the overlay channel itself uh, works more or less effective on lighter uh, skin. So on darker skin, the overlay doesn't really look as good. So what we really need is a true alpha overlay of of this color. We need to just take this. And drop in the alpha texture, but as you know, or at least you should know, I'm going to remind you if you don't, if you don't uh, remember, or if you, or if you never knew, um, the way CC3 character uh, maps work is that they're differently mapped than uh, the maps from Daz. So we can't. It would really be nice if we could just go into Daz uh, to the to the maps themselves. Like, I'm going to bring one over. See, these are the maps themselves. It would be nice if we could just take this map and drop it right into this base color. We can't even drop it into the blend color, for example. I showed you that before. But if we were to drop this into the to the base color here, just to drop it in, it it wouldn't work. Uh, not, of course, the opacity is a problem, too. But, but it wouldn't work because it's not mapped to the right facial textures. You see the eyes don't map properly to it. It, it goes everywhere so it doesn't it doesn't look like see the eyes aren't mapped properly it doesn't it's got this white area so what transformer does when you take a dad's character is it remaps the textures so they fit uh, this head properly so what we would really like to do is have that process remap this alpha texture and i'm going to show you the process i'm going to show you how to do it it's a little involved but it's not hard to do it's just a little more involved so here's what you have to do first of all we start off in daz got to go in daz and the first thing we want to do in daz is in the diffuse texture we want to drop in that uh, diffuse map but we need to do it in a special manner i'm going to show you how to do that so i'm going to go here photoshop uh if you use another text editor um, um another editor another I'm trying to say another another bitmap editor. I'm trying to think about five things at the same time. Then you'll have to uh, you'll have to you know, try to figure out how that would work in here. But in, in Photoshop, it's pretty simple. So in Photoshop, first thing we want to do is I've got my Photoshop on my other screen, so I have to drag over these. First thing we want to do is add another layer. Okay, I want to drag this layer down below, and then this particular layer we want to fill. So we're going to fill this with again my all my things are off screen. Uh, we'll fill it with white, okay? So now we end up with this sort of thing. And then we'll do a quick export. Export this. Quick export is PNG. And we'll just put it in our uh, exports. And we'll just call it um, AA test for right now, okay? And then that's the map we're going to apply in DAS to this diffuse color. So we're going to go in here, browse this, and we'll go to here and we'll just bring in the AA test okay so that's the first thing we do we have that texture in and you might say well Mike I don't I don't see that texture well the second thing we have to do and the reason you're not seeing that is we have this opacity we'll turn this down so you can see it so you still can't really see that texture because we have an opacity map in here so we want to actually have an opacity map that maps that texture okay just follow me, even if you don't understand what I'm saying, you'll, you'll see how to do it. So back here, come back here, and we're going to get rid of that layer that we just put in. And now we want to create an opacity map. So we go over here to select, and we go to load selection, bring over these things. And we're going to use the transparency that's already in here. So we're going to say yes, now loaded that transparency section. Now we're going to create another layer. And again, this layer is going to be below, actually, this layer is going to be above it, so sorry. 
Uh, and now we're going to go to this layer and we're going to fill. And what we want to do is we want to fill the stuff with white to make that map. And then we want to go select. I'm doing this very fast so I don't want to bore you guys. And then we're going to edit. And you can always look at this later on and see how I've done these things. But basically, we're creating this opacity map that we're going to use inside of Daz. So that's how we did it. So we selected it, filled the white stuff that we want to actually have show up, and the black stuff that we don't want to have show up. And then we're going to quick export this again as, uh, we'll call it uh, Makeup 2 Opacity. So we're going to use this later on for other things. So, and now we're going to come in here and browse and bring up that makeup to opacity. Okay. And you can see now the makeup actually shows up on that face, even though the face itself looks like a mess. But don't worry about that. That's We're not worried about that at the moment. Make sure that's 100% opacity. And the diffuse, we have that diffuse loaded in, so that's fine. So now we're going to save this out. Export it. And we'll call it uh, makeup to and that's fine it takes a while to export but not actually doesn't take very long to export and then we're going to go in here to transformer now we're in cc uh character creator we're going to use transformer and when we load this up in transformer all we always use advanced always 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 there's never a time to use anything but advanced i cannot repeat that enough i don't even know why they have the, the other selections we always want to use advanced say no we don't want to save this so now the only thing you have to decide is how detailed the texture. You're going to bake the body texture. Always bake it when you're bringing in skin textures like this. If you're bringing in clothing or other objects, you don't need to do this. But for, for characters, you always have to. You have to decide how high a character. And I usually use 2K. Uh, 4K, for those of you that really want to obsess or want to do high, high videos, I guess. I don't know. Uh, 2K is plenty. There's actually a lot of evidence to show that we cannot see more than 1k i know people those of you with 4k monitors say i can see 4k well yeah if you're sitting a foot away from your monitor you can see it but on the television screen you absolutely cannot tell what 4k is and uh you guys can disagree with me below but in any case choose whatever texture it is that you want to choose there uh, but make sure that that's uh, the highest that you want to choose because while you can always lower the texture down later on you can't raise it up Okay, all right, I've cut out all that stuff because it takes a long time to load this stuff in. But now, so now when it comes in, you think, well, what the hell have I got here? <laughs> okay, well, what you have is a very, uh, is what we need. It has the textures that we need. So now, actually, we're almost there. So now, we have the opacity map here. So we go in here, and we'll just load this in to Photoshop or your, or your editor by clicking on that. And we'll go back to here, and we also load in the map with the textures on it okay so now we have both of those so now what we want to do is we want to take the opacity map and create a mask that we can use then to save on the textures here so for here we can go ahead and just create their mask like that layer one mask we go over here and select all of this and copy this and go back to here and then in our layer mask to edit that we just paste that in the layer mask so now that goes ahead and, and does that stuff. So now with the layer mask turned off, so we're actually editing back in the actual texture, we're going to select none, and then we're going to use our tool, the lasso tool. The last thing we have to do is just cut out all the stuff we don't really want. Don't really want that. So we want to select inverse and edit. And we don't want to do cut because cut will actually cut down the size of this texture. We don't want to cut it. We want to clear it out. If we cut it, it'll actually make this texture smaller and then it won't line up properly. The other thing we might want to cut out is the lips because the lips isn't really part of this. So we'll cut those out too. Again, we use edit and we use clear. I keep saying cut, but we're actually clearing it. So now this is our makeup mask. This is our alpha makeup mask. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, quick export it. And we'll call it, uh, da, 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 in exports, we'll call it uh, CC3 Makeup 2. Okay? So now we're really all set. So now when we go ahead, let's, try, let's start off with a brand new project. We'll go ahead and just, actually, we'll do an avatar. We'll just take the base and we'll load up um, her. Don't need to save it. 
So now we have that makeup that we can just go ahead and apply. We have to apply it a little differently. Remember, we can't use the blend channel because the blend channel only works properly if, we, uh, if the color of the skin texture is right. So in this case, what we do is we take this texture here, we go into Photoshop, launch that. There's our Photoshop texture. And now we come over to our uh, particular uh, makeup that we've created, and we just go ahead and lay that right on top of there. Okay? Say okay. And there's our makeup. And now if we go and we merge those textures down, if you're using Photoshop, this is how you do it. We go ahead and save it. And that saved it. And then we go back into CC3, and there's our makeup applied to it. Okay? Now, you might say, well, Mike, this looks a lot like your, your first video. Yes, except that when we applied the makeup to the black character, it wouldn't work properly. Let's show you that. We'll go, we'll go ahead, because I've already done this with other things. We'll go to... We'll go to some skin here. And essential skin. And we'll, we'll load in the black male character skin. It doesn't really matter. I just want to show you some black skin on here. So now if we have this on here, now if we do the same thing, we go, we bring that texture into here and now I'm going to drag in that makeup that I showed you originally that didn't work really well this uh, makeup with the eyes that didn't work well so we'll say yes go ahead and file oh sorry we'll merge it down merge down and then we'll save it out save it out that's all you have to do save it go into here and now we have the makeup applied and, and you can if you look at the first video you'll be able to see this makeup looks a lot better on here but even better if we go to the eyes now and we close his eyes, you can see that that makeup did get applied correctly to his eyes. So this is actually the best way to do it, to go in and save all those makeups or whatever you have, tattoos, scars, whatever. Save them out as alpha masks and then just go ahead and, and apply them to your face textures uh, through Photoshop. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If not, you could go over and do the video again. It's a little more extra work to set up originally, but then after you've done it, it's pretty easy to apply it to any of this stuff that you want to apply to. So hopefully that helps, and we'll see you on the forums.